Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares, the Algren AI Defiant Transport Skimmer. I'm really excited for this baby here. Uh, it's <laughs> it's a pretty awesome looking kit. Um, it, just, it just looks cool. Uh, I'm partial to Algren, so uh, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm looking at it and going, oh... <laughs> Anyway, um, let's show you what's on the back. It looks good. The studio did a great job. Uh, looks like it has some instructions. Looks like it's all resin. What do we get? We get one Defiant Transport Skimmer armed with a Maglite support. Now, I know there are weapon options for this, and I do have them. So I will, I will open this box, and uh, I'll show you the weapons. We'll go get the weapons options and show you them. <clears throat> I got this with the full options. I also have an uh, assault, uh, an Algren assault group as well that came with this and, and the weapons option. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some magnetization of the weapon on top. Um, we're going to put some magnets on it. So we'll open this up, take a look at this, and then I'll show you the weapons options. All right. Of course, we got the pamphlet. The cool pamphlet tells you about Warlord games and how to clean the resin. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Really excited, as you can tell. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There's that hunk of resin I love. Look at that sucker. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that resin goodness. <laughs> Man, what a nice mold that is. I don't, so far, I don't really see any flash. In fact, I don't see any flash at all. That's a very clean mold. Okay, so here's our flash. We got an injection point on this side here. So we'll have to cut off this right here. Maybe sand that down and cut this off here. Looks like it was, it was injected straight down. This is beautiful. My goodness, can't wait to paint that. We'll get the airbrush out for this sucker. <clears throat> All right, so we have one of these. Thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate you packing this for me. All right, we'll dump this out. All right, get rid of that. So here's our mag light support. This is the basic weapon. Looks like it's on a ball joint. <clears throat> oh man okay that makes it fun <laughs> for magnetizing wish it was flat but uh we'll just put a small magnet in there we'll put a small magnet in here as long as it's enough to hold it it should hold that met piece of metal there i don't think we need any more magnets than that so we'll do that this sits on top <clears throat> this however it's got some flash on I may glue this one in place rather than magnetizing it this time around. <clears throat> Might make it easier and more sturdy for this weapon to be magnetized if I do that. We'll see. Um, got this piece here. We got the wings. Uh, we'll figure out how those goes on in a minute. I believe they go on like this. Yep. Okay. Well, as you can see, this is resin, so we're going to have to go clean it up. Uh, I do have a video on how to clean war, uh, war, Warlord resin. Uh, it's in one of my playlists. I'll, I'll try to put it in the link, a link to this video um, <clears throat> if you don't know how. Uh, there's also a pamphlet that comes with it that tells you how to do it as well. So, <clears throat> let's look at the weapons options. All right. Here are the weapon options. Thank you, Tina. Appreciate it. Oops, I hit the camera. I knew I was going to do that at least one time. <laughs> All right, all fixed up here. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we have four stands for spotter, shield drones, things like that. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for, all the drones. All right. This baby comes with some drones, that's for sure. Okay, so we have our other two weapons options. These are the bigger, the light, the medium, and the heavy. Uh, 
So we got some shield drones right here. We've got a spotter drone right here. And I believe that's a medi drone that came with it. Yeah, it looks like a medi drone. So these are all the drones. I'm not currently going to put these together because we all know how the drones go together. We've seen them a thousand times. <laughs> I'm going to build this tonight. Uh, <clears throat> with the weapons options, we're just going to, like I said, we're going to put magnets in the bottom here. Um, and <clears throat> just because uh, I really want to magnetize this to be able to move back and forth, but I think a static pose forward and then having the weapon be able to move back and forth for me, game wise, I think that would be more sturdy for me just to put a magnet right in the center here and on the weapons. It'll give it something else to attach to. It would be really cool to make this turret fit. Uh, uh, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly how uh, how you can do that. I mean, it's just simple drill, drilling a hole here, drilling a hole here, and putting a couple magnets to inside there so it'll move itself. I haven't 100% decided on that yet, but I know that uh, I had to do that on my other skimmer um, because it made it a little bit more sturdy because when you get the heavier weapons on it, it tends to want to budge up. So... And this one seems pretty sturdy. It doesn't seem like it would come off. So we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes as I build it. Um, so uh, in a minute, I will show you guys the tools that I'm going to use for this. And then uh, I will build it in its entirety. And I will be back to tell you exactly what uh, what I did and how what I did first and how well the kit went. So uh, I will be back in a second to show you guys.
the Algren Defiant Transport Skimmer. Uh, really awesome looking. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Here's its counterpart, a combat drone for the Algren. This one's got full the Liberator. It's got full magnetic as well uh, as this one here. Uh, I did not, I went ahead and glued this turret here because I think it looks cool. Uh, this is, you know, magnetized here. The gun will move. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, here, the gun's stationary, so I made the turret move. So I still, still think it looks cool uh, without this turret moving. You certainly can make the turret move. And let me give you an example here. See how I drilled a hole there and I drilled a hole there. Um, I have a video on how to magnetize the Liberator and the, uh, uh, um, the, the Liberator and all its options and stuff in uh, my uh, playlists. So that's that. Just a comparison, so you guys can see. <clears throat> so it has three weapons. It went together pretty easily. Um, a lot easier than most kits. I think the most aggravating part was the magnetization. Um, there wasn't a lot of flash. Uh, pieces fit together very nicely, like right here. That fit nice and snug once I sanded it down right here. Just, you know, just remember, as always, just dry fit every single... Just dry fit all your pieces and make sure you get all the injection points and uh, spurs cut off of there. Um, to make it smooth and to... Um, you know, just to make it make them smooth and, and flow correctly with uh, the Algren, nice slim lines and stuff like that. So, um, pretty cool kit. Can't wait to put some paint on it. Uh, very excited for this one. We'll get it on the table with our assault squad. Carry them across the field to kick some butt. <laughs> now, this is what comes in the kit. Just just the regular kit, the uh, the light uh, mag light support. And then you had the other weapon options. Uh, that's the twin mag support, I believe. And that's the heavy mag gun. So uh, one gun and they're interchangeable. Now there's a couple shield drones and a medi drone and some spotter drones and stuff that came with that kit too. Uh, but I put a thousand of those together um, <clears throat> in, in each one of these kits. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. And I'll probably do one whole entire video on let's build drones. So I have some lined up to be able to build each and every single drone uh, that is in Antares. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, thanks for sticking with me. It's a pretty cool kit. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Uh, spread the word for me. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, leave me some comments. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.